Good morning, sleepyheads. So we just checked out of our second hotel and now today we are bound for Tokyo. <laughs> this is the transportation card used in Osaka. You can use it to ride the subway, the high speed train, or the city buses. It's super convenient. Valid hmm. well, one day, today's date MV883. That should be our train car. But there's no time on the ticket. Maybe we just go in and then we can ask. Okay, let's have a try. Because this was our first time to take the bullet train in Japan, we didn't know you needed two tickets, so we had the express ticket, but we didn't have the basic fare ticket. So the security guard sent us out to go upgrade our tickets. Here we are finally arriving in Tokyo from Osaka on the bullet train. We just arrived in Tokyo from pretty rainy day in Tokyo. To be honest, I'm not sure what I was doing in this shot. I was going for something artsy, but um, it just kind of looks pretentious. Anyways, here's me trying to be creative. Trust me, I know, the silence is deafening. Anyways, in the next shot, I finally arrive at a game shop with good prices and nice, solid, wow, heavy hitting video games. Nintendo 64, it's crazy. Mad Game Boys. Oh, Super Famicom. Guys, this is my favorite GameCube game. And I found it in the wild, the last one. Should I get it? Do I have to get this? I'm not sure. What do I do? For my current haul. Get Pia. Doshin the Giant. Billy Hatcher. Game Boy to N64. Let's keep going. So many good games. I wish I could speak Japanese. I wish I could read Japanese. This would be amazing. Pikmin 2. Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Nintendo DS guys. That's awesome. The audio quality got messed up, but I was excited to come across this Spirit Tracks Zelda guide for Nintendo DS. That was really cool. Hey, this is my favorite Switch game. 5,500 yen. How much is that to USD? I don't know. I don't know if Hey, babe. I'm just video game shopping. So much. Why so much? Yeah. So much. It's crazy. <laughs> Here I am checking out with my current haul and um, I just thought how they package these is quite intriguing. So it's normal when you buy secondhand games or used games is that the case is empty. So she went in the back to get the discs and um, they're in like separate CD holders and now she's just taping them to the cases. And also what I found extremely awesome is that with the Doshin the Giant she threw in a free memory card. And yeah, I just thought it was really awesome and I appreciate the way they like package everything nice here. This lady, although she couldn't speak English, I gave her a 10 out of 10. So now I want to show you guys my game haul from the Surugaya in Tokyo. So first up we have, oh I love how they wrapped it. Doshin the Giant. This is a game where essentially you play as God and you have to fulfill your villagers request. And um, yeah, 
from what I understand is that you have to like plant trees and build temples for them and they'll um they'll just believe in you more and pray to you more and it's sick they included this free memory card I was not expecting that so that's awesome Doshin the Giant number one next up we have I guess Billy Hatcher this was one of my favorite childhood games growing up this one is in immaculate condition Billy Hatcher I love this game number three on the board we have well you can probably already guess it if you know me and you watched earlier on in the video gift Pia classic the cult classic a goal I have while I'm still here is I want to find a gamer's guide for gift Pia that would be epic next up on the list we have another Japanese exclusive you can't tell um, because it's still taped to the front but this is Natsuman, 20th century summer. Essentially, you play as this little boy in the Japanese countryside, and um, his dad is the ringmaster of a circus. And so Natsuman and Gift Pia, they're, they have a lot in common. So both of these, you just play as like a um, little boy in countryside Japan. This one's a bit more serious. It gets dark um, because everybody on the island dies. But this one is nice. It's lighthearted, fun. Um, your only objective is to really go fishing, explore, watch the fireworks, catch some insects, and just um, play, enjoy summer. So I really like these like weird little indie games that never made it out of Japan. They're just like kooky and weird and I enjoy them. I don't know. Last but certainly not least, we have a Game Boy Nintendo 64 adapter. So you could put in your Pokemon Yellow, Blue, Red, I believe, I believe the three of those. Put it in and you could actually play those games on Nintendo 64 compatible with Pokemon Stadium. So yeah, you can play your Game Boy games on a 64 kind of situation and it's dope. And so that is it for my first Japanese game haul. Thank you.